everyone, this is Island Nurse and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're going to be going over another NCLEX type question and this time it's a drug calculation question. So let's go ahead and read. A patient is receiving a heparin drip at 22 milliliters per hour via an infusion pump. The label on the liter bag of D5W indicates 40,000 units of heparin. How many units of heparin does the patient receive per hour? And this is typical of a drug calculation question that you would see on the NCLEX where you have to work out the question, you have to use your maths and then you're going to record your answer as a number. So I've gone ahead and highlighted the important points, the important parts of this question. So we have 22 milliliters per hour. We have a liter bag of D5W and of course that is how heparin is infused in that bag of D5W. And that liter bag contains 40,000 units of heparin. Now, before I set up my equation, and for this question, we're going to use the ratio and proportion method. But before I do that, I'm, I'm going to convert my liter to milliliters just so that I have all my units of measurement in the same unit so that when I'm ready to calculate, I don't have a problem. So I'm going to take this liter. So this is one liter. And I'm going to convert this liter to milliliter. And I know that a thousand milliliters equal one liter. So I'm going to put 1000 milliliters. Of course, if you're not familiar with your conversions, it's important for you to devise some easy way of helping you to remember because it's very important for you to know your conversion in order for you to be able to do these and collects drug calculation questions. All right, so I've converted the liter to milliliters. So I have milliliter here and I have milliliters there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set up my equation. And as I said, I'm using the ratio and proportion method. So I'm gonna start with 1000 milliliters. That's in the D5W bag and we know that it equals the 40,000 units. So I'm going to say equals 40,000 units. All right. And then I'm going to put it over the 22 milliliters. So if you notice, I have milliliters over milliliters. That's why I did the conversion here just to make it easier. Equals x units so the x here is unknown all right so we already know that the thousand mil bag of d5w has forty thousand units and we want to find out how much units or how many units is equal to 22 mils per hour because that is what the question asked right how many units of heparin does a patient receive per hour so i'm going to go ahead now and cross multiply so I'm going to multiply 1000 mils times x and that is going to give me 1000 x and then I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply again the 40,000 units times 22 mils and that is going to give me 880,000 so that's the next step. So 1000x equals 880,000. And of course, we have to do one other step because we're trying to find out how many units per hour. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for the other step is just divide 880,000. Divided by 1000. And that is going to be equal to 880 units. So the patient is receiving 880 units per hour. 
So again, let's just go over the steps. So the first thing I did, because when we started out, the question said it was a liter bag. So the first thing I did was to convert my liter to milliliters, okay? Then I set up my equation. I said 1,000 milliliters is equal to 40,000 units, as it states there in the question, over 22 milliliters is equal to X. X is unknown. And of course, X represents how many units of heparin the patient is receiving in an hour. So I cross multiplied 1,000 mils times X. It gave me 1,000. Then 40,000 units times 22. It gave me 880,000. Then I went ahead and divided 880,000 by 1,000 and I arrived at 880 units. So the patient is receiving 880 units of heparin per hour. Now, of course, like I said, I used the ratio and proportion method here. If you have another method that is easier for you, it's okay for you to use that method as long as you arrive at the correct answer. So there you have it. We have gone over our NCLEX drug calculation question. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.